if you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. It is a very uncomfortable thing to attempt. So you got to get comfortable being uncomfortable if you ever want to be successful. It's time to stay focused. It's time to decide, fuck clubs, fuck partying, fuck trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying? Because I'm trying to get it. When everything falls apart in your life and your plan is fucked up, what the fuck are you gonna do? There's only one motherfucking option. Stay fucking hard. Let me tell you something, homie. These women ain't going nowhere. These clubs, these parties, all this shit ain't going nowhere. The more weird you are, is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your shit, molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you gonna fly. I found that nothing in life is worthwhile unless you take risks, nothing. Nelson Mandela said, there is no passion to be found playing small and settling for a life that's less than the one you're capable of living. That there is a way out, that there is a way to do more, to get more, to obtain more. But I personally don't want to lose all that I've been able to get. So I need to make sure that I do everything to keep it. So I can't be content. But where do you go to? You wake up on a morning, it's cold, it's mm -hmm. wet, it's dark, you've got no cartilage in your knee, you've mm -hmm. got shitty shorts, whatever it is that's the issue today. Keep talking. I need you to keep talking about what you were just saying. It's warm on the couch. That's Your it. missus says stay in bed. That's it. It's comfy. That's it's cozy. It. That's You've it. got work later on. You had an argument last night. You're slightly hung over. I know every motherfucker ain't going to do what I'm going to do. Imagine you're on your deathbed, and standing around your deathbed are the ghosts representing your unfulfilled potential, the ghost of the ideas you never acted on, the ghost of the talents you didn't use, and they're standing around your bed angry, disappointed, and upset. They say, we, we came to you because you could have brought us to life, they say. And now we have to go to the grave together. So I ask you today, how many ghosts are going to be around your bed when your time comes? And my personal question to you is, why not you? You've got the brains. You can make decisions. You can study the plan. You can change your life. You can grow immensely in the next few years. You can make your dreams come true. You can build a financial wall around your family. Nothing can get through. You can become healthy. You can become powerful. Why not you? How many times do you have to hear, if nothing changes, nothing changes? And yet, somehow we expect things to change. You think you're gonna get more money. You think your relationship is gonna improve. You think you're gonna get promoted. You think you're gonna get a raise. You think the world is going to get better, but it isn't. Nothing is going to change unless you change what you're doing. You have to change some things or nothing will change. The fear is never reaching your potential. That's it. That always falling short, always quitting before you're done, always procrastinating, always yep. not doing the right thing. And then one day you're an old man. Yep. And you look back and go, God, I could have been great. Yep. It could have been great. I never forget one time I was running by a graveyard. I mean, I was fucking just trying to be.